Hello, for today's video lecture we're going to be talking about Varignon's Theorem. So Varignon's Theorem, often called the Principle of Moments, states that if we have two or more concurrent forces, the sum of the moments that each force creates about a single point will be equal to the moment created by the sum of those forces about the same point. So let's break that down and talk about what that means. So in the case below, we have F1 and F2, and they sum up to be F total. Uh, and we're taking the moment about point A. So we've got our same lever that we've been dealing with in the past. Uh, I've got two forces, F1 and F2, and they add up. If, our, if I were to add them up, they add up to F total. Um, so we have two alternate paths to find the overall moment about point A. Path number one, if I add F1 and F2 to find F total, uh, then I find the moment that F total exerts about point A. Uh, that would give me the moment of uh, the forces about point A. The other option is to find the moment from F1, so then find the moment from F2, add those two moments together, and that would give me the moment about point A. So it's really about what you want to do first. You want to add them to add the forces together first, and then take the moment, or add or take the moment of each of the forces, and then add the moments. Uh, this is not too groundbreaking, uh, but this is, does give us some options for how to find a moment. So how we're more commonly going to use this is we're going to use Varignon theorem in reverse, breaking a single vector into components and then finding the moment exerted by each component. So imagine I've got my force F down acting at the bottom, uh, and I want to figure out the moment from this force. So if I were to draw in the line of action here, uh, I would find that. I would need to find the perpendicular distance. Uh, it'd be, take a bit of work and a bit of geometry to find that perpendicular distance. What's actually going to be easier is if I find the moment from the x component, which would be this x component of the force times this distance in the y direction. So force times perpendicular distance. And then I took the force and the, the y component of the force and multiply it by this x distance. So this would be the moment of the y component, Fy times dx. So fx times dy plus fy times dx, uh, that gives me the moment of the x component, the moment of the y component. Add those two pieces together to find the overall moment. Uh, in this case, I'm not doing any complicated geometry. I'm just taking, kind of finding a horizontal distance and a vertical distance. I am breaking a force into components. Uh, and this is going to be the easiest way uh, in many situations to find the moment of a force uh, when there's no easily identifiable perpendicular distance for my moment is equal to force times distance calculation. Alright, so that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.